Droves of people are making their way to Central Texas for Monday's solar eclipse and counties are upping emergency resources for the big day, including Williamson County. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with leaders to find out what they're doing to get ready for those large crowds. We just want to promote, you know, safety all around. Chantel Brannon is the interim director of Williamson County's Office of Emergency Management. Wear your glasses. She says there are a few um, things know. she's looking out for on the day of the eclipse like heavy traffic. Just make sure that you plan ahead. Um, we should be able to experience um, some delays on I-35 and then also with the service roads um, here in Williamson County. Starting Sunday, Brennan says the sheriff's office will deploy more deputies watching out for traffic issues. Our emergency operations center will be activated starting on Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. And Monday, Three quick response units made of first responders will be deployed to places seeing higher volumes of 911 calls. Brennan says her office has been working with other agencies while planning for the big day. Our job is to make sure that our students get back home safely to you. Local school districts among them. Round Rock ISD Superintendent Dr. Hafed Azaiz says the district is planning for its own eclipse interruptions. School will be in session like usual. He says buses could be delayed after class lets out. So they do the elementary, they have to come back and, and do the route for middle school and then come back and do for the high schools. That may be the delay for the second and possibly the third group of students. As thousands look up to the eclipse, emergency leaders like Brannon will be looking out for their safety. We're all excited. Uh, we've been preparing for this for well over a year. In Williamson County, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. Brandon says while the county has not issued a disaster declaration, it does have one already drafted and on standby ready to be signed if needed.